I'm so stoked! Yes! <laughs> Pretty impressive. It's what we hope for, but when you're doing it in invisible, you, you just don't know. For today's flash challenge, you must sandblast a design onto seven panes of glass. To show dimension, you must divide your design into background and foreground, then etch a different part of the design onto each pane of glass. And when the time is up, you must carefully stack the panes so that they come to life as one three-dimensional illusion. I've never worked with glass. It's gonna be so hard to show dimension. I'm super pumped. I've got three sandblasters at home. I'm ready for this. Once again, you must work in teams of two. The only person I don't want to be paired up with is Emily. I mean, that would be like putting a lion in a cage with a freaking chicken. And I'm a lion. Let's do another pain with a few more. Two here, two here. It'll be attacking the birds. I'm totally overworking with Angel. But after what I said last week, I have to redeem myself in the eyes of the judges. I'm gonna have to stand out in this flash challenge. So we're only using five panes of glass. I know everyone else is gonna be doing seven panes and it's just gonna be way too cluttered and messy. One hour remaining, everybody. Give me a little more. Let's make this really stand out. There you go. New York City is loaded with dimension. The buildings in the far off distance and the mid-ground in the foreground, I'm gonna frame it out. I'm gonna lay some dope clouds behind it. If we pull it off, we got this in the bag. Hit that circle one more time. It's hard to tell if we're even. Everyone else wants to do these masterpieces of imagery and cluttered bull and they're gonna miss the mark. The easiest way to show dimension in this challenge is to go clean and simple and direct. sandblasting. Emily and Ryan. You hit the dimension really well with the rays playing back and forth with some of the clouds in the foreground, some in the background. The last layer of clouds you did all the way behind everything is what really pushes the motion forward and shows us dimension. Eric and Robbie. I think it's too simplistic. It is a little repetitious with the flames. It doesn't show dimension as great as some of the other things. Had you put something different in the background, it could have created more dimension. Jason and Clean, you've got some really nice dimension with the mountainscape, but also what's impressive is that within the bonsai, you've got layers of foliage there. I do like the border that you put in there a lot, the shadow that it drops, especially on the sun, really pushes the dimension out. Julia and Josh. You definitely captured dimension. I love the way the beams come across the hammerhead shark. It's a little bit difficult to read. You're layering things on top of each other that get in the way. That was intentional because when you look at an underwater photo, you do have to look for some of the creatures. Josh is just a big pussy. You try to give him any kind of critique, he has an excuse for everything. It's bull Don and Aaron. The minimal approach that you took to give us the perception of depth in the piece is what stands out in this. It's a nice job. Taisha and Mark. You get that really nice dimension from the shadows, from the different etchings onto the sand. It's a little bit busy, but overall, there really is a nice sense of dimension in this thing. Chris and Angel. The cast shadow that you get from the actual subject matter in the foreground really does give you that cool feeling of depth. And the way that you stack the cities, where you have the clouds coming behind the silhouettes, really lends itself to give some depth to this. Nice job. Thanks. Thanks. Are you kidding me? That thing looks like a piece of It doesn't look sharp. It doesn't look clean. I just think it's very elementary. The judges have decided that the winners of today's Flash Challenge are... Chris and Angel. What a joke. What? For that? There's genius in simplicity. You got dimension out of less. For today's Flash Challenge, working in teams of two, you must use a power washer to strategically blast a massive design onto a 53-foot semi. These trucks are huge. That's a lot of ground to cover for just two people. Oh, my God. That's crazy. I got into tattooing specifically to not do manual labor.
two hours remaining, everybody. Two hours. Well, I think you're the star of this today. My arms are going to be so sore tomorrow. Go quick. Don't, don't be so precision with it. Otherwise, we're going to be here all day. All right. Like a little rounder. It's a little football shape there. Oh, OK. I was expecting Manny to be kind of an asshole, but we're working well together, and everything's coming out really good. Oh, yeah, that's good. Guess what, Sausage? You get skull picks and you yourself, we're going to spank you like a little baby. I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is either. It looks like a jellyfish eating the city. Me and Anthony are busting our ass to do 55 feet of artwork, and Sausage and Jimmy are doing a piece of broccoli about three feet wide on theirs. Sausage, you drop the ball. My arms, man. I'm getting pretty frustrated because I'm doing everything. Ladder, hang on. No, just, just let me handle it. I'm fine with ladders. Christian's having a super hard time getting any sort of bold or confident line or shading. Ooh, yeah. You OK? Yeah, just not as good at this as you are. I just want to give up. Time to critique your work. Alex and Clean. You guys definitely use the entire space, and that's commendable. I like the flow of the snake a lot. I like the way that it plays in and out of the bones. I'm stoked to see a large scale piece, but when you get up close, you can see how messy it is. The bones don't really line up as they go through. The dagger looks a little wonky. The detail is minimal. He kind of falls short. Christian and Megan Jean, what exactly are you guys showing us here in this design? It was Medusa we went with. What are these elements on the sides of the truck? Stone wall that you can see Medusa through. It looks like an angry turtle. It's a little bit hard to tell what exactly going on, and I feel like some finer details could have just made these images stand out. The balance composition is nice. I feel like you just miss it with the tools, and that's what really was a tough break today. Jimmy and Sausage, what exactly did you do here? What we tried to create is some cool buildings that were up front, but if you stand back and you see the overall picture, that you see the skull and the nuclear clouds like an apocalyptic scene. It's disappointing that you didn't just attack this whole trailer. You're already starting off at a deficit. Bigger isn't always better. I think that giving you a 53-foot canvas is a pretty clear suggestion that it's supposed to be a large piece of art. Jimmy is like, what are the rules? How do we do things to what the judges said? Blow it out your ass and do a piece of good artwork. Maddie and Anthony. Doing landscape is a great way to show composition. You didn't use up the entire truck, but compared to the people that did use the entire truck, you have a lot more concentrated details. Getting the texture in a tree, getting the waves in the water by the arc of the pressure washer. You have some really nice areas in the foreground, this big rock with the dark shadow to play off of the water. And I really love the silhouette of the bird dead in the center. It gives it a great focal point, and you did use the whole truck, in my opinion. That stuff doesn't come off on its own. You worked from one side to the other using 53 feet the way I see it. How hard is it to do a mountain? The judges have decided the winners of the Flash Challenge are Anthony and Maddie. The execution was spot on, and getting to the word composition, undeniably, you hit it out of the park. For this Flash Challenge, you need a steady hand because instead of using tattoo machines to puncture skin, you must use a drill to puncture wood. Oh. Using different size drill bits, your design will be determined by the size of the holes you drill and the distance between them. I have used a power drill to hang up art on the wall, but I have never made art with it. This is just going to be a nightmare. <laughs> Think about what you're doing before you do it. Everybody's going to try and do some crazy big piece to show off. And all you got to do is go simple. We go right back to basics. Geometric shapes. How many painters have painted a still life? This skull pick is vital, man. We got people on our side now, and we're all gunning for that alliance on the other side of the room. It's time to send them home. Here, they need to be squattier and see more of it up here. Oh, no, this would be in front of it. You I'm guys, just, do I'm, what you want. So no conversation at all? I mean, I'm telling you. The handle does not you literally you look like this. You're doing it wrong. That's all I'm telling you. Eulis and I have a very balancing dynamic. Being a dick. No, I'm not. But when he is done listening, he is done listening. Can you just like? Can I do what? You know what you're doing, obviously, because you won't listen to anything that I say. If we can't smooth this out, there's no reason to even continue, because nothing good comes out of that. I don't know how to continue it now. Then do what you were going to do, and we'll take the hit for it. 
All right, guys, it is time to critique your work. And Basilica Tattoo, let's start with you. I do like the cleanliness of the design. Your ladybugs are smaller, more detailed. You use different size of drill bits to create shading. You definitely created depth. I think it's cool. Thank you. Empire State Studio. This could have been a train wreck. I think you guys did a good job. If this thing were to go awry, you would see it in a second. So I think you guys showed off strong precision in this piece. Artistic skin design. It's appealing to the eye when you look at it. As far as precision, some of those tentacles are a little bit crooked. You want to make sure when you're sitting there with that drill, you're hitting every hole. Classic trilogy tattoo. We wanted to make something real simple, but still show precise light directions and shapes. Damn, homie, this is sick. I like the way you did the little burst up there. We get that idea of a light source. For as simple as it can be, this is where it all starts. These are the shapes. It's a pleasure to look at, and I'm happy for you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. They like it, finally. I think a lot of people have written us off, but we're not out of this game yet. Black Cobra tattoos. You've created quite an optical illusion. It actually does play with your eyes, which is pretty incredible, considering it's a piece of wood with a drill. You show ultimate precision, great job. We didn't come here to mess around. Yeah, we're in it to win it. They did circles. Good job, guys. Unkindness art. I like the top half of this a lot more than the lower half. The head, the shoulders is so precise, but then as you go down, it's kind of like wah, wah, wah. Allegory Arts. Your design is pretty loose. Your chain gets a little out of shape. And in the spider web as well. There's some discrepancies. I just don't know if it's going to compete with the rest of the field. Old Town Inc. I'm not blown away by the design. I wish it was a little more interesting, but the bottom circle that everything's radiating from is a very nice touch. You guys really show a lot of precision in that area. Golden Skull Tattoo. There's definitely contrast in it. There's some things in there that could have been a little more precise, but you attempted a difficult piece. Pretty cool. I didn't come back to pussyfoot around everything. I'm gonna go balls to the wall on every single flash challenge I got. The judges have decided the winner of today's Flash Challenge is Black Cobra Tattoos. <laughs> really nice concentric circles, and it had a visual effect that was hard to achieve. Good job, guys. This is the best day ever. Two Flash Challenges in a row, seriously. You guys are just going to let us take this all the way to the end. Today, you must create a massive monochromatic masterpiece one piece of bread at a time. What? You're kidding me, right? I don't even eat bread. Carbs are bad for you. How do you think I look this good? Using nothing but bread, glue, and blow torches. What? Just light it on fire? You must toast each piece of bread to different shades, creating an impressive work of art with smooth gradients. I burn toast almost every single time I use a toaster. You expect me to do it by hand with fire? with fire. Just when you think it can't get worse, it just gets weirder. Today we're looking for you guys to be able to shade with your blow torches anything from very light to black. You can burn it and create your values. This is cool. It's going to stand really strong if it's like hella dark, you know what I mean? Yeah. We approach the challenge with a basic idea. And from that, we make all the decisions on the go. That's what you get when you have three good artists in one team. We're making sure that you see the darkest area and the lightest area, and we're going to put a lot of grace in between. That looks good, Harm. We're killing it. Two hours remaining. Two more hours. Oh, bread smells good. Ooh, this bread's all warm and shit. <laughs> Mmm, what's that warm bread? My team spends the entire time in these challenges talking and joking. Roll me in butter and slap me up like a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> that bothers me so much. I'm not into that. I feel like if you guys were to get the head, yeah. I mean, you could hit a wing, I can hit a wing. Kelly can start working the center. Okay. Today, I'm calling the shots. We're going to do things the way I want to do them. Let's get it done. All right, it is time to critique your work. West, you're up. You have a lot of really smooth shading in the image. In the top of the hill, you go from totally burnt all the way to totally open bread in a very smooth transition. 
What I really like is how dark you went in the eye and how brilliantly you placed that negative piece of bread to get the highlight of the eye. So beautiful in there. It's just an extra touch that I think pushes this over the top. Thank God for my black and gray guys over here. Like, <laughs> look at you guys. All right, East, you're up. You do get a lot of contrast in the image, so it is legible. Your shading in this piece is a lot like your shading in your tattoos, Jimmy. A lot of heavy black and then right to it. The transition that I see that I like the most is the way the coffee itself has that highlight towards the top left. The light's working on it's nice. Thank you. Thank you. We toasted them. All right, Midwest, you're up. You got a lot of crisp lines in the feathers, which looks good with this medium. There's not a lot of big, smooth areas of transition from dark to light, but you have a lot of heavy contrast. The background being really dark, and then the images that are coming forward, just stark white. Legibility of the design is super cool. Cool. Me too. Having said that, final decision. My vote? It's for the West. Yes. Yeah. For me, the piece that you can look at up close, far away, see the shading, and see everything laid out clean, it's going to be the West. Yeah. The judges have decided the winner of this flash challenge is the West. Congratulations, West. Thank you. Bullshit. For this flash challenge, you will win or lose as a team. We got it, boys. We got it. Today, you must create an incredible work of art that's completely invisible. What? talking about. What the hell is that going to I work? have no idea. What? You will stencil your design on concrete. Then you will paint your designs with invisible water repellent paint. When the time is up, you will soak the concrete with water and your masterpieces will be revealed. I don't like it. This challenge is super bizarre because we're not going to be able to even see what we've done until the end. I mean, it's almost impossible. Where do we start? <laughs> I think if we can pull this off, it'll, we'll win. Yeah, they're doing something stupid. Looks like a Turk drawing. That wasn't a compliment. We're wasting time standing here watching you uh, draw and erase, draw and erase. I got you. Turk's definitely getting off track. The facial features are looking a little wonky. I feel like that nose looks a little pointy. It is. He's trying to go super HD on this thing. We need to keep it simple. If you add too much stuff, you're, you're taking away from the beauty. OK. Relax, bro. Simplify. Two hours to go, guys. Two more hours to go. All these little tiny chunks killing me. Nice. I mean, I can already see that's going to look cool. In my mind, I think our idea is stacking up really well. But that's the only place it exists right now is in my mind. Final hour, guys. One hour left. We're painting our asses off, and I can't even tell what we painted already. I'm going to be so surprised if this comes out remotely how we plan. Oh my god, this is so stressful. Time to critique your work, Team Christian. Let's start with you. All right. Hey. Ooh, these are heavy. Soak the wall. Yes! <laughs> Pretty impressive. It's what we hope for, but when you're doing it in invisible, you, you just don't know. The composition of this is what makes it look so good. It is cohesive. It is seamless throughout. You get a perspective of looking down the river. The depth and everything really plays together really well. What's really impressive is all the small textures. The grass, the shine in the river, and the texture in the trees. Good job. Hell yeah. All right, Team Clean, you're up. Reveal. All right, guys, it's a really great piece of art. I love the flowing hair. Nice detail on the face. As far as composition goes, you've got a lot of filigree shapes that go around. So it's a pretty loose, nothing really demanding that the composition be in a certain way. But it does have a nice flow to it. You took a very simple approach. You did a very clean, very strong, very legible image. And if you're going to go so simple like that, the face should be composed correctly. Look at the jaw. It's crazy. I ain't never seen some like that in my life. Everybody has an opinion. That chin is gigantic. 
If you're going for a composition of a face, you f***ed it all up completely. Final decision. My vote's for Team Christian. Uh, yeah, Woo! yeah. The winner of today's Flash Challenge is Team Christian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Team Christian has no creativity whatsoever. I mean, literally, they just copied what was around them. This is BS. 